What's going on my boys, YT Dan back again with another Duel Links video. Today we're going to be getting in there to talk about the Counter Trap Engine. All the Counter Traps you can play in said engine and why is it so good and why is it so powerful. So like and subscribe this video right now and the witty Phantom will die for your sins tonight. So yesterday, I was having a live stream and you boys came through. I appreciate the boys coming through for that dank live stream. I was playing the Blue Eyes White Beat Stick and enjoying myself, thinking I just wanted to get in there and clap those jammies real quick and go to work. But unfortunately, I was destroyed. Destroyed by the counter traps. And why was I clapped by the counter traps? We're gonna go ahead and play that clip right now. Koko-sama, play that clip for me. Coco Sama. Co play the clip. Play the clip, my boy. I need you to play the clip. Coco, play the clip, goddammit. <laughs> ah, Coco Sama. I like to draw free cards. Mm hmm. Yep, old blue eyes deck, but it still worked. It's still, it's still gravy. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, double back row. Nice. Very nice. It's Cosmo Brian. Uh, Silver Cry. <clears throat> <laughs> sure. Let's play our game. Ooh, you're fools for neglecting it. And they're like, oh no, dog. Really? Goddamn cup of fucking ace, man. Goddamn cup of ace. Just stupid. Just stupid. Cup of Ace, man. Crazy. Prepare yourself. Wow. <laughs> really? Come on, man. <sighs> every, it doesn't really have to be every single. All right, let's see how lucky he is. Does he, now does he have a Desperado in his hand too? Yeah, get this shit out of here. You got Desperado? Wow. Yeah, all right. I'm just fucking done. I just don't want this anymore. I'm just done. Really? Come the fuck on, man. Seriously? Wasn't that disgusting? I mean, so much to the point I was enraged and could not finish the duel. Because using this counter trap in a deck that already has two pots of greeds, a dark hole, and a free Karibo is absolutely disgusting. I absolutely hated my experience playing against that deck, especially because the dude literally had everything. Even though he stopped my first play, I had a second play, he still had a counter trap for it. And you know what? It's a well-made deck. It's a good deck. And why is it so good? Because of this one card, the Cup of Ace. The plus one that you receive from Cup of Ace combined with the minus one that you could potentially take from this card or the minus two or the minus three you could take from Desperado, Barrel Dragon, or Time Wizard is absolutely devastating. And trying to recover from that, you have Rebirth of Parshav to stop your recovering. Now, on top of Rebirth of Parshav, you get to special summon this big ass monster, this 2600 beat stick that can attack life through defense after you've already countered and received more pluses than I have due to the Cup of Ace. It's a resource game. 
Duel Links is a resource game, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a resource game, but this is the master of resource accumulation in Duel Links right now. This card will allow you to draw two cards and people seem to have it on the first turn every game. I personally have never played a mass played against the Master of Destiny deck that has not had Cup of Ace on turn one. They always have it on turn one. It's frustrating, it's devastating, and it's disgusting. So the counter traps, which ones should you use? Rebirth of Parshaf is a super powerful card because it can stop any spell or trap card. And personally, I wanna make sure that I'm covering the gaps on this card. So an easy card to use, an easy card to use is Divine Wrath. And if you don't got the credit card for this, of course, this is an ultra rare card. Of course, you might not want to put it in your deck and this is very linear. It's discard a card to negate a monster effect. But actually, I feel like one of the best combinations with this card is Ultimate Providence. Because inside of the Master of Destiny deck, you do have two cups of ace, and typically you only can play one cup of ace per duel. So you play the one cup of ace, you draw two, and you draw Ultimate Providence and a cup of ace. Now you have a guaranteed spell negate, on top of having a monster in hand, you have a monster effect negate as well, along with your face down Dekoichi, which will allow you to draw one card. Resource game. You will be out resourced and clapped quickly. Um, 26 and 14 is game. So um, you wanna protect against your opponent having any chance of recovering. So a strong card to use is this card called Wiretap. Wiretap will allow you to stop a trap card when it's activated. You negate the activation and you shuffle the card into the deck. It's very devastating inside of this deck. As I told you, if I had a face down to Koichi and I stopped you with Rebirth of Parshaf, I'm gonna summon a 2600 beater. 26 plus 14 is game. And now I'm coming in for your jam jams. Activate Wiretap to stop your mirror force. This duel is done. That's a nice turn three kill. It's a nice little finishing move right there. But honestly, you don't even get to that scenario. Most of the time, they're gonna smack that Dequeche. You're gonna draw that card. You're gonna summon that Desperado Barrel Dragon and bang, bang those beasts. And it's over. The Counter Trap deck is still powerful. As I was saying, we still have a couple more Counter Traps we need to go over, like Solemn Scolding, of course. But Solemn Scolding is a card that can pretty much stop anything, but at the cost of 3,000 life points. And honestly, people aren't trying to run that risk. But if you ran a Solemn Scolding in your Rebirth of Parshaf trap engine, I really feel like the Solemn Scolding is a strong compliment. The Solemn Scolding can stop anything and you can't set the Solemn Scolding with other cards set. So if you have the Scolding in the hand because you have other cards set, it's an easy discard to negate a trap but it really depends on what you're playing against. Do you think you need this much power? But honestly, I don't think so. Most people are just running these three cards, Ultimate Providence, Rebirth of Parshav, and Debunk. And additionally, they're using uh, Divine Wrath. But Debunk, mostly because this card can stop both Karibos and Bacon Saves. So it's just busted, man. What are ways to get around these counter traps? I mean, you would think it's be impossible for you to get around these counter traps, but honestly, the best action for counter traps is back row removal. But the problem with your back row removal is it cannot be monster based. If your monster activates an effect, then they can use cards like Divine Wrath or Ultimate Providence to stop the monster's effect and destroy your card. Or if you're facing the back row of counter traps and you're using spell cards instead, they can still get around it with Rebirth of Parshav. So what is the answer? The answer is to run Cosmic Cyclone and pray you went first. <laughs> and hope that your attack coming in does not destroy their dark monster so that they can't summon Desperado Barrel Dragon to give you a few minuses. The real solution, honestly, not too much of anything. There's not, I mean, that's this is why the deck is tier one. 
you know, you have to either bounce the monsters, banish the monsters, anything but destroy the monsters to prevent Desperado Barrel, and you have to have game. But on top of having game, you got to be able to get rid of the back row. And honestly, for a turn one kill, unless you're really lucky, that's highly unlikely. So that's why this is a tier one deck. And honestly, if you guys think um, of ways to counter this deck, let your boys know in the comment section below. But thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep it dank.